Hello and welcome back. My name is John, the RPG Lord. In this video series, we are going to design a dungeon and learn how to do it that your players are going to love to explore. And today, we're going to create a puzzle slash riddle for our dungeons. First question we have to ask ourselves is why even add a riddle or a puzzle to your game? They are not necessary. And the answer is no. But the long answer here is it gives your game an added layer of complexity and it challenges all players to work cooperatively. And what makes D&D D&D is that feeling of everyone engaged working together towards the same goal. That's the feeling you want to create on your table. We are already distracted by cell phones and iPads and what have you. We want to get them all engaged in one thing. Now, when we take a look at our dungeon here, how many riddles should we add? In the pre-work, we have already decided we're only going to add one riddle. Look at riddles like salt. A little bit of it, or too little of, uh, of it, and it, the game is going to be bland. Too much, and it's going to overwhelm you. So I would recommend maybe one, a maximum of two riddles per dungeon. Otherwise you're going to overwhelm the players, and you're going to lose that D&D &D feeling. Now, I have mad groups that would rather take on a lethal ancient dragon before solving a single puzzle but you know the vast majority of groups will like it so I would definitely advise you to put one in. Now here comes the question where are we gonna get riddles from? If I would have been recording this video about two years ago, then it would have been very, very different. But 2023 gave us AI and it has only gotten better since then. So now we can use ChatGPT or Bing Search or whatever AI you prefer and come up with some pretty good riddles. And that's what we're going to do in this video. I have to tell you right away that the better your prompt, the better your results will be. So let's go on Bing search and find out what, uh, what we're going to get here. You go to bing.com and then you click chat here that takes you into the chat feature which is chat GPT-4 and it's all free. Now here you have a choice for your prompt. You can select I want it to be more creative, balanced or precise. In this case I'm gonna choose creative. So let's start here. I'm going to do something very simple for a prompt. Create a riddle for my D&D game that players need to solve to open a door. Let's see where we get. And here we have a real. I have a face and two hands, but no arms or legs. I can tell you the time, but I don't know your name. I can make you run, but I can't make you walk. What am I? Well, this is a very easy riddle and it would be clock. I don't even need to know the answer for that. Now, this is definitely a good riddle, but I think we can do better. So. Well, what kind of riddles are there? Well, the create your creativity is 
literally how many riddles are there. This is just uh, you know uh, writing a little. But how about how about we give it a shot and we try a math riddle? Give me a math riddle that eighth grade thus can solve by using plus minus divide and multiply by add and subtract divide and multiply well let's see what we get here And here we have another riddle. Now, uh, when it comes to math riddles and, and chat GTP, I want to give you a little warning. Uh, chat GTP is very good with writing stuff, even coding, but when it comes to math, I have caught it several times making mistakes. So if you give them a math riddle such as this, you better calculate it through and make sure that the answer that it gives you here is the correct one. Now, for our adventure, I'm going to use this one here. And we are going back to our overarching dungeon question, and here we are. And we place this right underneath the trap. I'm gonna write my answer in bold, so that I know this is only for my eyes. Well guys, this was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. We have one more video in the series, then you will have your completed dungeon. Remember, only one RPG Lord. I wish you a good day, and I see you soon in the next video.